Hey guys, it's Nam McFly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know you guys are like, what the heck? When did she get hair? <laughs> I told you guys in my last get ready with me and I think in my turban tying video that I really wanted to do clip-ins and I've been waiting for my hair to get long enough so I can experiment. So today I have in clip-ins from Coily Queens. These are the 20 inch clip-ins. I have in two packs of the clip-ins or two sets. If you have a little fro already, I feel like you only need one set to really achieve a fuller or a little bit of a longer look. I, as you guys know, I don't really have that much hair on my head, so I really needed two to really get this full look. Um, even if I had a little bit more hair on the top, I probably could have finessed like a bun with one bundle. Um, but as you guys see, I'm a little lacking in hair right now. So two bundles got me this complete look and it was really easy to style because this texture actually m matches my curl pattern perfectly. Like you guys can see even from the sides of my hair, it's a really nice match and I dyed these bundles. So Two nights ago, I dyed them black because they do come 1B natural color. I think there's an option. No. So they do come 1B natural color. So the other night, I dyed them with um, permanent dye, box dye. I think it was dark and lovely. And it shed a little bit. I'll insert a picture of how much shedding I got. But also keep in mind, I have two packs of clip-ins. They have been cut, they've been sewn into clip-ins, and I just processed them. So a little bit of hair did come out, and it wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't excessive, um, and the hair still, the curl pattern held up. It still smells really good, and it hasn't shed since I've washed it. So I'm feeling really good about the quality of these clip-ins. So the way they name their clip-ins on their side, on their site, they aren't just like 3A, 3B, 4B, 4A, whatever. They have them by names. So these are the Nandy clip-ins, which is like a 3B, 3C hair texture, and they actually match perfectly to my hair texture. And it's a lot of clip-ins. Like, this is a lot of hair I have on my head. Like, I feel like this is like a full, like sewing type thing and I really like it like this is a really cute look I'm feeling this sure. and like I said this is two bundles but I definitely feel like if you already have a little bit of hair to achieve a longer or fuller look you only need one bundle to really give you that complete you know and you can style it how you want to because they they're really soft and I, another big thing is tangling I've had clippings before and like I just decided not to run my hands through them because the tangling was ridiculous and I enjoy these because I'm not really having that issue but I also don't really feel the need to stick my hands in curly clip-ins that much. I will also have a 20% off coupon code down below in the description box as well as a link to the hair that I have and yeah I'm just really excited I think they look so cute like I feel like I want to do another video with these clip-ins maybe I'll try to um Maybe I'll try to show you guys, you know, how I styled them. It was a little process, but I feel like that's something you guys are interested in. I can already see my comments going crazy. So I might as well just start working on that now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Get ready with me. Let's get into it. So I'm actually going to use a few Smashbox products today. Um, I'm doing a collab with them right now, so I kind of have a lot of their products. Right now they have a collaboration with hood witch um she's pretty cool i followed her on instagram the other day she's pretty dope and they have this crystallized primatizer i'm not a big glitter shimmer shimmer girl but it looks really good and glittery like it's just so shiny i don't know we're gonna see so prime with this it says it's a moisturizer and a primer in one but we'll see <laughs> It's so shimmery. I don't like want to use a lot. Feels really good though. Hmm. Kind of like that. Um, I already moisturized. You guys know I've been using the to the Tula Daily Moisturizer, and I always use rose hip oil. So I moisturized with those as soon as I got out of the shower, and then primed. Now foundation. I really need to get more BB cream because you guys know I've been using the um black radiant stick foundation but i really prefer bb cream because it's just a lot lighter but i can work with this 
since I have to. I like this. I'm going to keep it out the box. Like, I like this. I think I'm going to use it more often. I'm actually just going to squeeze whatever I can out of my foundation because I just don't feel like using the stick. I want to keep it BB'd. I might go get another one today. I have to do a few errands. I like the e.l.f. small stipple brush when I spread my foundation. I've seen a makeup artist do it on my skin before and I really liked it. So, well, I guess like the way it felt, I should say. And I don't use this to blend it in, just to spread it out. Then I'm going to spritz with the Smashbox Crystal Clarity. Again, this is the Hood Witch collaboration. So for each of their primer waters, they have like little manifestations for them. They're really cute. It's just a really cute thing. This one's the Crystal Clarity Primer Water. It's for... I'm clear with my intentions. So I don't know, I just like to moisten up my uh, foundation before I spread it out with my beauty blender. But anyway, what's up with you guys? I know I just did a, another get ready with me like two, three weeks ago or something. But I feel like I haven't updated you guys since then. I kind of enjoy talking to you guys this way because I can keep you updated and like, I don't know, not have to like talk about a particular subject or anything like that, you know? I don't know what this is on my neck. I don't know. That's so weird. I'm looking at my neck and I just don't know what that is. I feel like it might be like dry spots or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Anyway. What's up with you guys? I feel like we haven't talked in a while. Um, should I use Smashbox primer? And, I mean, Smashbox concealer today too, since I'm using everything else. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. We'll go Smashbox. Okay. This is the Smashbox Con Studio Concealer in the color medium dark warm i don't know if this is my exact color okay this is my exact color which is deep neutral so i'm gonna use deep neutral under my eye and then highlight a little bit more with this lighter color oh no this is like my exact skin color i'm not gonna use this just kidding let's just go ahead with this concealer Oh, it's very light. Okay, I'm going to mix just because I'm not feeling this color. This is very light. I feel like I have one that was my exact color. I don't know what I did with it. I have like a whole roll of colors. I don't feel like going to look for it though, so I'm going to put Fenty Beauty on my forehead. I'm going to just mix because I don't feel like going to look. Ugh, I hate to mix, but what can I do? I hope this doesn't end up terrible. I feel like my forehead's breaking out, but I think I'm about to be on my cycle. So that would explain it. I'm leaving for Baltimore soon. By the time you guys see this, I'll already be in Baltimore at the art show. But I'm finally displaying some art at home, so I'm really excited about that. And to see my friends at home that I haven't seen in a really, really, really long time. I've really been thinking about cutting my hair again, but then again, like, I really want to do faux locks. Like, I have so many other styles I want to do. I was just talking about this in my head wrap video from last week. I don't know what I'm going to do, but you know what? I like these clippings. I have, like, 
I think I'm going to do a video showing you guys how I actually put them in and everything. But I just don't know when. So just give me time, okay? And I'll have it up for you. Maybe like a, how I style my clip-ins. I don't want it to be too long, you know? But these are really cute. And the curl is just so cute. But yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm a once I get back from Baltimore, I'll work on some more content. Roger that. I gotcha. <laughs> I know I always have a hard time with my eyebrows, so I'm about to... I think I need a new brow pencil. I think it's time for me to upgrade from just using an NK brow pencil to maybe using, like, the Benefit Precisely My Brow or, like, the Anastasia. Like, you know, just the real, like... I'm Right now, I'm just using hair store pencils because they're just brown, you know? But I think I need, like, a better, finer tip on whatever thing I do with my eyebrows. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out soon. It's just whenever I buy makeup, it's like for, like, I know what I need or I ran out of something. It's never just like, mm, let me try something new. But maybe I'll get into it real soon. What's your favorite brow, like, device? I don't know. I got to figure it out. I hate when I look down with my concealer and it gets underneath <clears throat> my eyelashes. It takes forever to get out. I don't even know what to do with my brows right now. I hate that this Anastasia dip brow gets so dry all the time. Like, it's literally always dry. And I feel like it makes my eyebrows look bad. Maybe my product is, like, expired or old or something. I don't know. It just doesn't do its job well anymore. I think that'll do. <sighs> now time to blame, baby. You know, just taking it slow. Somebody show me that door. Okay. Final steps, and then I'm still gonna set with my Fenty Beauty um, powder because oh, that's just what I like to set with. I'm gonna try like to take minimal makeup at home, but I'm I guarantee you I'm gonna need more makeup. I mean, I guarantee you I'm gonna end up wearing more makeup the one time that I decide to bring less because that's just the way it works. But I feel like every time I go, I never use as much as I bring. And I never wear as much as I bring. So even with my clothes, I like took them out and just made sure everything was just a necessity. I'm such a large packer. My beauty blender is falling apart and it just gets all these little dots all over my face. And I hate it. You guys were asking me on Instagram to make a video um, talking about like me growing my hair back and stuff. But I keep trying to tell you guys I'm not doing anything particular. Like it just happens to be doing its thing and I just haven't cut it. I mean, I guess at some point I will, but just not. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you watched my last Get Ready With Me, I was talking about wanting to cut it and then I don't know I just don't know because I don't know 
But I was also talking about I wanted to do this, which is the clip-ins. I wanted to do faux locks. Like, I have a couple other things I want to do, but then I'm also like, ugh, it's going to be hot. I just want to take, you know, like, I don't know. I'm really sitting here thinking and I just don't even know what I would say. Like, I'm not doing anything in particular. Like, it's literally just coming out of my head. <laughs> there has been a few awkward phases, though. I feel like I'm in one now only because the back of my hair is growing a little bit longer than the top. But it doesn't really bother me that much i'm just wanting to do more protective styles now that it's in like a longer awkward awkward stage you know i just don't know what i'm gonna do I've been trying not to um, over bake my face because I feel like it's been drying up my face and my makeup a lot and I've been doing it on accident just because I just enjoy the bake like I just <laughs> enjoy my face being set okay so I'm trying to take it back a notch but then again summer's coming and I'm really gonna need to set my face so Or just be big greasy all the time. <laughs> I like my contour to stay sharp, so I'm gonna go back in with, uh. excuse me, this espresso in the color brown. And just right up on the cheeks. Take it down, take it down, take it down, down. Because once I clean up the contour, I feel like it would be making it look too, too, too sharp. So doing this kind of re gives me life. Now I'm going to just barely set my face today. Let me check underneath my eyes first, make sure it's not creasing. Okay. I'm gonna take... Yeah, I'm gonna work on trying to figure out like what you guys want to see as far as my hair growing. Like I said, I'm not really doing anything. I don't use any oils. I'm like, I'm not deep conditioning. Like I, I don't even think I've deep conditioned like outside of the shower since I've cut my hair like I mean in the shower I'll put on a cap and let it sit for a little bit but I haven't really taken the time I don't know I really think I might cut my hair again this summer I'm just feeling it like it feels like it's about to be a good summer I definitely want to try clip-ins though like again and I want to do I want to try clip-ins again I want to do the faux locks um, I'm gonna do a few styles but I definitely think I want to cut my hair like I was literally thinking about getting it cut this Friday but I have another hair thing to do before I can cut it so responsibilities gotta pay the bill so I'm gonna handle it but I am just know that I am thinking about it and don't be upset when I do it'll grow back Okay, back in the face. Um, I know this is primer water, but I just like my face to be a little bit moist. Like I don't like my makeup to look real dry, so I'm gonna just use it again to spray my face. Same way I would do the Mac uh, Pro Fix, you know, whatever, prep and prime. Same biz nails. 
feel like... Okay. <sighs> Alright, and then you guys know my favorite parts, blush and highlight. Let me try to clean up a little bit really quick. You know, you gotta clean as you do your makeup. That way you don't have a big pile of makeup when you're done. Which is typically me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta figure out if this is small enough for plain. I don't know. I think this might be like a little bit too big. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Because worst case scenario, I'll put it in a smaller thing. But I really think I'm gonna need this. And I'm running. I only have a little bit of the MAC. I mean, maybe I could take the rest of my MAC prep and prime. I doubt it, though. I don't know. Ugh, my foot's falling asleep. Um, is it me or did it take me like no time at all to do my makeup this time around? Well, I guess you guys don't know because it'd be edited down, but this is like record time right now. I don't think I took that long with my eyebrows. Maybe that's what it was. I feel like my brows be taking up a lot of my time. And that was the e.l.f. palette, my blushies. And then highlight, I am obsessed with this new highlight. This is the still the Smashbox. I'm just using all this because I got all of it. But I really like the Smashbox um, Hood Witch Highlighter. It's like an iridescent purple. It's called Optimistic. That's cute. But I'm going to mix this and with mine. It's like a purple, you know that iridescent, like purplish, greenish color? But you guys know I really like gold, rose gold base tones. So I'm going to mix them. I'm going to mix them. We're going to make magic happen. Oh, you know what? I don't know where my fan brush is. Oh, wait. I don't know where my... Oh, you know what? I do know where my highlight brush is. I don't feel like getting it. So I'm going to use the same little stipple brush I used earlier. Hopefully it's not too bad. You guys know the drill, always a gloss for the win. Always a gloss. Now, oh, I don't like this gloss. Okay, let me take off my scarf, get a gloss, and come in. Okay, she's back. Lip gloss and took off my scarf. Now you guys can really see the clip ends. Um, you guys know, I tell you all the time, I use just the NK lip pencil in the color Espresso. But any dark brown pencil will work. And I just use a 99 cent store gloss. I used to have the Fenty gloss. I've had a few different ones. You know, it doesn't matter. You guys always think I have on like some real fancy gloss and it's literally like 99 cent store gloss. I just mix it real good together. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me today as I always enjoy my time with you. Don't forget, I'll have all the details to this clip-ins down below. And you guys can use my code to get 20% off. Let me know down below what you guys want to see from me. You know, I already know you guys want to know how I grow my hair. But that's not a real thing right now. So give me some more ideas. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.